Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a master lock number 532. Surprisingly enough, this is a master lock with five pins and it also has spool pins in it, which is absolutely wild to me for a master lock. Anyways, let's pop this open and show you around. I am at Falls Creek Falls. Or in the back. Click on five. There's a three. Four. One. Four, two, one again. When I click on four, I think we kind of set and drop some things in here on accident. Trying to get behind pin five there. There we go, pin five is set. Oh, there's her open. Probably can't hear that pop over the falls, because I sure as hell couldn't. But there we go, there's our open. So yeah, spool pins, five pins. This is typically not guttable. Yeah, you can't see down the hole, but there is no screw there. However, there's a pin on the side, and I like drilling master locks. So I'm going to go home and gut this damn thing for y'all and show you what's inside. So I mean, it's a master lock with spools, so why not? Anyways, we're at Falls Creek Falls. The sun's starting to come out over there. A beautiful falls that's right near the uh, coast of Washington and Oregon. And it's going to be shaky for a minute because I'm going to pick you up and try not to die. Like that, like I almost did. At least it would have been on camera. All right, everyone, this is Falls Creek Falls, and I will be home soon with that master lock gutted. All right, I finally got this gutted. I'm gonna show you what happened. So you see the, uh, the pinholes here on the back is a retaining uh, pinhole right there, and it lines up with this hole in the very, very back, right in the center there. And so that pin, which is this uh, brass one down here, I'll show you in a minute, it falls in that groove, and it keeps our uh, plug retained and only allows, allows it to ro rotate 90 degrees. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you the pins. So you can see it is all standard and then uh, four spools for the driver pins. And you can see, yeah, missing some springs because I had to break some. And here's the retaining pin for the, uh, the core or the plug. Let's see if I can Let's see how to drill it out there. And then this big one is the retaining pin for the entire core. So the entire cylinder, sorry. And so what I'll do now is I will 
tap this hole in the back and this hole right here. That way I can fashion a screw to retain this plug right here. And then for this hole right there, that lines up with the body, that hole right there. So I'll tap this all the way through into this. That way I can retain my cylinder. And then I will add it to my collection of uh, <laughs> locks that weren't guttable that I've made guttable. All right, everyone, this was a, a master lock 532. Thanks for watching.